Avocado toast, a side of hash browns, the strawberry dragon fruit refresher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I forgot I could only go right, right here. Thank you. Yes. Have a good one. Um, okay. We about to finna, we finna do this again. Bless that you, we. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, good. Luckily this road is wide. So that's actually very helpful for me, even though they didn't make it wide for me. Okay. What is up, my Brigitte babes and my Brigitte bros? It is your girl, Imani Brigitte, and we are back with another video. We are back with Vlogmas Day 4. As y'all seen, we up and at it this morning. We got our Dunkin' Donuts. Dunky Donuts. This is the strawberry dragon fruit refresher. I don't remember if I've had it before. And what's up with them not getting napkins? Let's see how these taste. They don't need no sweetener. Ooh, the avocado toast. I've actually never had avocado toast from like another place. I just make my avocado toast on my own, so I'm very curious to see if I like this. But it looks very promising. Oh, God is great. God is good. Let me think. Amen. Mmm. 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 Good. Mmm. 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 Good. Golly gee. That's actually insane. This is good. I do taste the sourdough a lot in the bread. Oh, I should have kept my car on. This sucker don't start. Oh, I didn't think about that. Darn it. I do think my favorite bread to get, um, to have avocado toast on is potato bread. This is my first time having it on sourdough bread. I've had it on, um, is it wheat? On um, wheat bread before and then i just got um a side of hash browns and they only give you six of those suckers let me finish eating and then we'll chat okay 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 we are back and well fed as y'all know my car tripping my car tripping i don't know what's going on with her she start when she want to start oh my goodness is that a bug inside the car or outside the car all i have is my bike <gasps> It's inside the car. It's inside the car. It's inside the car. It's inside the car. Oh my gosh. All I have is my book. All of this, I just have my Bible. What am I supposed to hit this thing with? Oh my God. 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 I didn't even hit it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lord Jesus, I don't know if this is okay to hit this. <clears throat> the Bible. Oh gosh. All I had was the Bible. I tried to use this, and this didn't work because it got a little indentation at the top. I don't know what kind of bug that was. Okay. Where was I? Carbon tripping. So today, we are going to our family mechanic. So before we even head there, we are this morning. This what? We are going to do a morning word with the money vision. Let's get into our morning word. Let us get into our morning word, y'all. The word that we are going to be in today is Matthew 6, and we are going to be reading verses 25, and then we will drop down to 32 through 34. Matthew 6, 25 reads, This is why I tell you not to worry about everyday life, whether you have enough food and drink or enough clothes to wear. Isn't life more than food and your body more than clothing? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously 
and he will give you everything you need. So don't worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. That right there is pretty much like straight to the point where you read it and it pertained to me a lot specifically because my car wanted to start tripping and I didn't see that coming. Like that really had me distraught and just like, what the heck? Like I thought we figured it everything out, but what what's going on now like i'm so confused and i did begin to worry about like so what's gonna happen when i go down to the mechanic tomorrow what's gonna happen when they want this like i know it's gonna cost an extra hundred or so dollars like this seven dollars for this battery was supposed to secure it all but god literally says like don't worry about everyday life don't worry about your day in and day out don't worry about how you're gonna have extra clothes on your back how you're gonna eat how you're gonna drink like don't worry about those things keep doing what you are supposed to be doing keep acting righteous keep walking in holiness because god is holiness keep following his path keep following his image and everything that you need will be provided to you he's not saying everything you want you might want you know certain things that aren't necessities for that moment that aren't necessities for your life point blank period but things that you actually need god is going to provide if you just let him if you just sit back acknowledge what has happened it is your reality your feelings are true you can acknowledge that but you can't let your feelings towards the situation overcome you for the entire day or make you start you know having anxiety and like being hyper um hypersensitive towards what's going to happen in the next day you have to deal with what's currently happening today so when y'all see my car start messing up <laughs> that other day i literally couldn't do anything and so many times before in my life i like panic i overreact and i'm just like oh like dang it did it like when the initial stuff in my car happened i told y'all like i cried because i was overwhelmed i had gone through everything else i had been up to here with everything that i could deal with in that moment but even then i was just like ain't nothing i could do you can prepare for things but don't become hyper sensitive and like overly overcome honestly with what's going to happen in the next hour what's going to happen in the next day you don't know if the next hour is going to be your last you don't know if this current hour is going to be your last so live your life in that moment and don't worry about the next thing even if that is a meal god i ain't got no money in my account how am i get groceries don't even worry about it sweetheart don't even worry about sweetheart continue to do what you're supposed to do continue to read your word continue to pray don't just not work and be like god's gonna work it out he's telling you to work so work do the things that you need to do and he will provide the things that you need in life so don't be like the unbelievers and act like oh my god what's gonna happen i'm worried oh my gosh i'm nervous i'm da 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 don't act like them show them who your secure footing is in show them your anchor show them when everything around you is shaking when the money is not sitting in the account when the food ain't in the fridge when the water ain't coming out the sinks like show them that your foundation cannot be shaken you can cry you can be hurt you can be confused but you show them that you are going to go into prayer and you are not going to worry it doesn't say don't acknowledge that these things are real don't acknowledge that these things aren't happening don't act like they're not there don't just be so like okay not, nothing's happening you can imagine it you can you know um hope for it and those things of that nature but don't act like it's not your reality live in your reality but do not worry about your reality don't worry about how god is going to provide and how god is going to do those things how god is going to make you successful how god is going to put the money in your account how god is going to fix this car like that just is what it is he's like can you just cherish what you already have like i'm covering every need that you need right now every time that you have cried about finances every time that you've seen your account in the negative you're seeing your account at zero like i have put something back in there though it's not what you want to be in your account right now it is something in there and it's something that's going to get you through these next two weeks until that next check comes i have raised your credit card limit so if something does pop up in life it's something does happen if there is an emergency you can pay for that i've raised it that much so you can pay for that not to go willy-nilly and like you know cash out on things that you just want but for a necessity god has like he raise that limit okay raise that limit and raise my credit score i don't know why i'll be tripping about my credit score so badly like i'm trying to like buy a house or something but i just really be wanting my credit score to look good but god has literally covered everything that i can possibly need so for me to sit there and worry is to say god i don't believe that you can do it for me to sit there and worry is to say god mm, i'm gonna ignore your track record i'm gonna ignore what i've seen you do for others i'm gonna ignore what i've seen you do for my family and i'm gonna ignore what i've literally seen you do for me i'm gonna ignore all that and i'm gonna be worried 
because I don't think you can do it, Lord God. That's what you're saying. And you know that's not true. You know God can do it. So don't worry about tomorrow. Don't worry about that next hour. So don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will bring its own worries. Today's trouble is enough for today. God is literally like, look, babes, you got enough on your plate today. I promise you, you got enough. He's literally acknowledging too that you have enough on your plate. He's acknowledging that you have a lot going on today. This is a hard day. This is a difficult day. This is a confusing day. Today is hard. So don't even sit there and add more, you know, to your plate today by worrying about tomorrow. He's acknowledging like, <laughs> today is tough. <laughs> so why would you even start worrying about tomorrow? Because now your anxiety about to be over the roof. He's telling you not to do these things to give you a peace of mind. God really wants you to just be at peace. So by saying don't, he's acknowledging that hey, you're probably gonna do these things because you're imperfect, he knows. I want to alleviate some stress by telling you, don't do it, baby. I want that to feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Like, don't do it because you can give it to me. If you're worrying, don't worry, hand that over to me. So yes, so thank you, Lord God, for the word that you have given me to receive today, Lord God. I hope that just as I was able to receive something, Lord God, others are able to receive something in this moment. I ask that, Lord God, you know that we will worry about things because it is just our flesh, Lord God, but I ask that our spirit overpowers our flesh in those moments and just gives it the ability to hand all worry, all anxiety, all depression, all confusion, all anger, all sadness over to you, Lord God. I ask that we continuously hand everything to you because we know that we can not add any more time onto our day by worrying father god i thank you for everything you have done for us and all that you continuously do lord god i ask throughout anything that we go through today's trials lord god you just give us a clean and new heart for the day lord god that we just make the best out of the time that we have here in jesus name we pray these things amen so we gotta head to the mechanic and yeah we gotta figure out what's going on with this vehicle let's see if it start <laughs> Oh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> God said, since you told them to use you, <laughs> hold on. God said, since you told them to use you as an example, let me give them exhibit B. <laughs> <laughs> all right, God, it's all in your hands. Whew. Two hours later. First time in a long time. I'll take it. Yeah. Hey. When you know that we was meant to be. Why'd you keep those things for me, my love? Okay, so hear me out, y'all. Hear me out real quick, okay? Quick disclaimer, y'all. I really don't play. Y'all know. Okay, to be completely honest, I haven't listened to any type of secular music in a very, very long time. It's been June, July, August, September, October, November. December. It's been about six months now. As y'all know, when it plays like at my job or at like restaurants and stuff like that, I'm a bob to it, of course. I'm not deaf. But intentionally played it. For some reason, my Spotify, when like I hit play, usually it goes to my regular like Christian playlist or whatever. But it started playing my liked songs and I still got liked songs from like Spotify a while ago. And babes, that song. Oh, Sierra put me onto that song. And I'm just like, even if it is that crazy baby, not you too. Not you heard in my heart too, babes. Yeah, so that's the only reason I played that song. But now we back to our regularly scheduled program. But I just need to let y'all know that this ain't a thing. You feel me? But it is what it is. Down ready, stay ready. Got even changing my mindset. Focus on winning the contest. I asked the Lord to just keep me from evil and they lost some friends in the process. I just like they let them inside. Heard what they said, I ain't letting it slide. Never mind that I ain't moving in pride. All that I know is they ain't ever right. And they lost some friends in the process. Guess they was killing the progress. That was way harder to digest. That's why when I'm meeting new people, I love them, but I just can't let them inside yet. Yeah.
K-I-N-G-D-O-M, dog, I'm really ready. Play set me free. Oh, no! Baby. Okay, no, I can't do it. Take me one more time. I love it. Little baby, Lord God, this is a test. Oh my goodness. Okay, first, first, first. How we get so deep so fast? Okay. Next time, I'll beat you. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Child, I don't know. I just don't want to. Okay. Finally! Left turn, check. Your girl is done. Her car has been fixed. She has been redeemed. And I am just so happy. It ended up being the battery. Don't trust AutoZone and don't trust AAA. Pretty much for AAA, if you need to get back in your car, let them get you back in your car. If you need a jump, let them give you a jump. Um, that little slug, yeah. You need them to tell you, let them tell you. But when it comes down to testing something on your car, don't trust them. AutoZone, don't trust them. Because AutoZone said my thing was good. And then when AAA came that day, he said it was good. And then I should recheck it soon. Or maybe just like change it out right now just to like be safe. But it's not a big deal type stuff. Like just maybe change it to be safe. But it says good. Actually, you know what? I'm by my godmom's house. I'm going to stop and put a card in her mailbox. That's why I always keep these extra cards on me. I keep blank cards, thank you cards, and just, yeah, all that good stuff on me just in case I want to give to the homeless, put some money in it. I want to randomly give to anybody, whatever the case it may be. So hold on. Let me get this card together, and then I'll, I'll catch up with y'all in a second. Okay, okay. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I dropped off the card at my godmom's house. Um, and I left a little message on the ring like hey, how y'all doing? Love y'all. Long story short I forgot to tell y'all when I was I got interrupted. Well, my mind interrupted me, but got a new battery. It was the battery. That's all and The people at Nissan was trying to finesse me telling me I need my brakes changed immediately and it's gonna cost nine hundred dollars nine hundred to like a thousand dollars and my mechanic was like girl yes you do need them brake pads change eventually just do it before the end of the year so you don't start hearing that squeaking and it doesn't get really bad and does something to where you gotta fix something else depending on which brakes you get whatever the case may be it should be not even five hundred dollars it'll most likely be five hundred or less and that was just that back up but right now i'm really excited because i'm about to surprise my brother he was like oh since you're down this way um you should come and see me and i was just like Oh, okay, but I was still getting it, my car done and stuff. Then we faced our mom. And we never said, I never said yes. I never said anything. So he's at the mall right now with his girlfriend at these stores. I follow his location because we're a family of turned on locations. And we're going to see how accurate Apple's location is. Because we used to use this other app 
but I ain't gonna lie, when I got mad at my mama and we wasn't talking for a while, I deleted that app. <laughs> but let's see how accurate this is. And I know his reaction ain't gonna be like, oh my God, my sister. It's gonna be like, oh, cool, cool. And I'm gonna be like, ah! But okay, let's go. Let's see where he's at. Are they at TJ Maxx? Y'all, I can't find this boy to save my life. What the heck? Y'all, I cannot find him. I found him. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> so sorry. I found him, I found him. Oh my God. <laughs> I think y'all liked it from the looks of it. it See, like both of y'all really liked it. <laughs> Hi. Sorry. 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 Hi. Hi. Say hi to the vlog. Say hi to Vlogmas. Say hey, Vlogmas. Hey, Vlogmas. Jaden, you're like a bad kid. Like, what are you, five? We're matching, guys. Turn around. We're matching. Everyone's the center of attention. In the cut. Oh, this mirror dirty. Oh, wait, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. It says Santa's twerk shop. I would get these, but I know I'm a changed woman. Should I get these? It's Santa's twerk shop. <laughs> So, I just came to surprise them, just to be there, to show them, hey, love you guys, and now I'm the line holder. They got me waiting in a long line while they still look for stuff. This is the entire line, and it wraps back around that way, and they over there shopping. Look at them, look at them. Those is too tinted. I can't even see. <laughs> Thought I was doing something. Jamie, stop! You're embarrassing me. <laughs> oh my god. How do you? sitting in traffic for an hour and a half your girl is exhausted okay yeah we really rolling out all 25 of these videos lord i'm praying that god gives me longevity patience and just everything under the sun but yes your girl's car is finally fixed we got it we did it we did it joe but that wraps up today's vlog, y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. I love you so much. And I will see you tomorrow. Mwah! I think you're pretty great, too. Oh. What the heck, Siri? Bye.